Well, welcome back folks looking at our five day rain chances. We are expecting dry weather tomorrow. We could see a straight thunderstorm show up Thursday, but Friday is looking like what uh, the day is going to be for some high impact weather as we head later into the week. That is when we do have a first alert in effect for the threat of some strong and even severe thunderstorms. Now these should stay at bay over the next couple of days. Right now, here's our setup looking at Doppler Max radar. We have clear sweeps on radar, not much rain across the region. This front is now to our south, which is actually bringing a much drier day for us. A lot drier air out there uh, with dew points into the 50s and 40s. Now as we continue into tomorrow, we are going to see a little bit of cloud cover move in by the afternoon, but staying nice and dry for the most part of your Wednesday. Temperatures will be warm again with those highs hitting the low 80s. Heading into our Thursday, this is where the chance for maybe a straight thunderstorm does come into play. Not expecting severe weather though on Thursday. As we roll into Friday, this is going to be our much stronger cold front. At the moment, this is where our in-house model does time it out to be around midday Friday, so starting to cross over over that Alabama and Georgia line. And since this would show up to us kind of late afternoon, early evening, that would kind of be prime time for a lot of energy in our atmosphere and why there is that concern that some of these could turn severe. We are looking at a bunch of different ingredients for this setup. Moisture, lift, instability, shear. At the moment, it looks like they're all going to be present, which is why the, uh, the Storm Prediction Center already has that day four risk out for our region. What we're looking at here is a tornado parameter. So the warmer colors you're seeing on the map here showing where the highest tornadic ingredients will be available. And right now, this goes for pretty much the entire CS array that if these storms get going, they will have the potential to rotate and, and even drop a tornado or two. This is the severe weather outlook from the Storm Prediction Center, a giant 15% risk across a large portion of not only Georgia and South Carolina, but also Tennessee, Alabama, and portions of North Carolina. So for Friday, we do have a first alert in effect. This goes for everybody in the CSRA. Make sure you are staying weather aware and staying updated with the forecast over the next couple of days as we get closer to Friday. Luckily, nice weather does continue tomorrow, though, for the second day of the MLF Invitational. Should be a great afternoon to head out to Wildwood Park. Go check out Way In. That's going to get going tomorrow again just after 3 p.m. And temperatures will stay very warm up at the lake the next couple of days. Looking at that seven day forecast, remember the first alert in effect Friday back to drier and slightly cooler conditions rolling into the weekend.